believe in horoscopes. Right. Uh, so, so you mean, do I? So Shakespeare knew from the beginning. Uh, There's a great quote from him. He says, oh. uh, um, "What is it? The, the, your, the fault lies not in the stars, but in ourselves." Okay. And so uh, every experiment you do to test whether your personality is influenced by things that are cosmic, any test, control test you do, it just fails. So what? Why do people still believe it? I'll tell you why. Because if you, uh, when you go to your horoscope in the day. And you'd say, oh, what are you, Scorpio or this? You go straight to the Scorpio and it's written, oh, that's okay, that's going to happen to me. You should try it differently. D do the following. Get someone else to pick one of those horoscopes at random and read it to you. Best, do it in an entire room. I've done this experiment. Yeah. I picked one at random, read it to a room of 100 people, and I'd say, did I just read your horoscope? 70% of the hands went up. Well, no, of course, it's not 70% of them. So you realize that they're written in such a way that you can find the meaning that you know and need for yourself because of the way each one of those horoscopes are written. And you, you lift up the things that are most applying to you, and you suppress in your mind the things that don't apply, and you walk away thinking that they're speaking to you because of what time of year you were born. And we've known about this. It's a, it's a psychological effect mm -hmm. where we remember the hits and forget the misses. Like you pick up the phone and say, I knew it was you, grandma. And well, how about all the times that you thought it was her and it wasn't? Those don't get remembered as an incident in your life. They get rapidly forgotten. We only remember the hits. And so you can end up thinking that you're psychic or you have special telepathic powers. So there's a, we are susceptible to all manner of psychological, um, uh, um, uh, to be fooled by our no. own brain, uh -huh. by our own sense of what is real and what is not. And so, but on top of that, there are 13 constellations in the sky, not 12, that the, su the sun passes through. And in fact, the sun spends more time in Ophiuchus than it does in Ophiuchus. Scorpius. Ophiuchus, see that's the one of those large. Uh, yeah, are you Ophiuchin? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if, if you think you're a Scorpius, you're probably an Ophiuchin because the sun is in Ophiuchin for more time than it was in Scorpius. And the entire horoscope scale has been shifted by one month over the past 2,000 years when it was first laid out because Earth is wobbling on its axis and mm -hmm. changes the relationship of the sun and the sky against the constellations. So most Scorpions are Ophiuchins and all Scorpions and Ophiuchins are currently Librans. Okay. That's just the facts, but you don't, none of the horoscopes tell you that because they're making money off of it. It's a billion.